Okay, so right now we're going to be talking about the application for a certified copy of title. So what you're going to use this form for is if you lose a title and you need to replace it. Um, to get this form, which this form number is VTR34, you'll go to txdmv.gov. That will bring you to their forms page. You'll want to go to Title and Registration Forms and then scroll down and uh, it's going to be down here towards the bottom. Yep, right there. Application for certified copy of title with VTR34. Click on it. It will bring you up a uh, printable version of this form. And you can also fill it out online as well, um, which uh, generally makes it a little bit easier. So top part here is going to kind of give you a little bit of general information as to what the form is for. The second part is the application checklist. You will want to be sure that you go through this before you go to the office. Uh, that way you're not making multiple trips because I have seen that happen uh, several times. You can do this both by mail uh, or in person. Cool thing about in person, if you have time to do it, is that generally these offices, uh, if you have everything together, they can literally print you a title right there and hand it to you. So it's kind of nice but uh, you'll just want to go through and make sure you have each of those things in order before you submit it the vehicle information is all going to come right directly off of the title now obviously you don't have the title so you may not have things like the title document number uh, or maybe even the license plate number maybe you don't even remember that so basic um, vehicle information like vehicle uh, identification number, year, make, model, body style, that stuff you should be able to get like off an insurance card, an old registration, uh, you know, or the car even, um, and, and take that stuff up there with you. So that's all pretty basic. Recipient information. Now this is going to be, this can get a little confusing. This is who is actually picking up the title. Because here's the thing, they're not going to change anything on the title. The title is still going to be registered in the same name it was when it was lost. So this is going to be in case you maybe have someone different that's picking up the title or receiving this title uh, other than the person it's registered to. Otherwise, you just put that information in there. And then the identification, that's when you take this stuff to the office. That's going to be the ID information that they're going to verify that person's identity that's picking it up. Then you have the um, odor and uh, owner and app ask additional applicants. So if there's more than one person on the title, then there's two lines for that. But if it's just a single person, then you just have that one line. Um, now, an important thing on this, if you've lost a title that, let's say that you had a car that you financed, uh, paid for, and the lien was released on the front of the title, but you never did anything else with it before it was lost, then as far as the state is concerned, that vehicle is still going to have a active lien on the title. So if that's the case, it's, it's not, a, not a huge deal. You will want to get, and it's going to show it right down here, uh, lien on title record. You're just going to need to get a lien release. And so I do these all the time for customers that lose their, their titles, uh, ones they paid off years ago. And it's a really simple deal. There's actually a form you can get um, for that or some of them just want on a company letterhead that the lien was released on the title uh, when that was and the vehicle information that's all you got to have it's super simple the um, offices are all listed down here by city so if you've got one local great you know just go down and get it done there locally if not then you know like so you can always do it by mail it's two dollars by mail and 545 in person and um, that will get you set up and get you a replacement title. If you've got any questions, just put them in the comments below. I'll be glad to try to help you out any way I can. Like I said, I've done a bunch of these. And uh, also the uh, office information down here. Uh, you could also find those offices and their phone numbers you know, as well if you wanted to actually just contact uh, your office directly before you go in to be sure that you don't uh, maybe need anything else or if you got a a question you want to answer um, and that pretty well wraps that up and like I say if you got any questions just put them in the comments I'll be glad to help you out